Hello everybody, today we're going to be playing Call of Duty World War 2, and we're going to be playing it with my friend Dusky Russell. We are going to be playing the map Grost and Haas, and we're going to be doing the easter egg that allows us to get into the mystery box room, and then on top of that, we're going to do an easter egg that allows us to get pack-a-punched weapons every single time, every time we hit the box. So... If you've never done either of these Easter eggs before, please follow along with the steps. I will put timestamps right now to each part of the Easter egg. So let's start the game. All right, so for the first part of this Easter egg, there's going to be 10 lanterns scattered all over the map and we need to shoot them all. So, as an indication that you've shot the lantern, it will make a crow sound. I don't know if you can see that lantern very well, but it's right there, right in front of us. It has the purple light coming off of it. Now, unfortunately, you cannot use the lantern's purple light as an indication to where it is because the purple light only activates after you shoot it. And that's the last lantern. And here's the mystery box. Now for the second part of this easter egg, what we're gonna need to do is typically I get the um... I get the jack-in-the-box on the fourth or fifth hit of the mystery box, but it could take longer. But um, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to hit the mystery box until we get a jack in the box. And I don't know for sure, but I believe that the da that the jack in the box is only um one per game, so only one person can have the jack in the box every game that you play. I don't know for sure, but. Last time me and my friend did this, um, he got the jack-in-the-box, and every time I hit the jack-in-the-box afterwards, um, I mean, every time I hit the mystery box afterwards, the jack-in-the-box wouldn't come out. So, please, please, make sure to alert everybody that you're trying to do the pack-a-punch mystery box glitch, I mean, not glitch, easter egg, to make sure that, that, um, they know Please, if you get a jack-in-the-box, don't take it out of the mystery box. So, right now I'm just trying to rack up points so I can hit the mystery box. And I'm going to uh, come back. Um, when I have, um, gotten the amount of points necessary. So, uh, let me start speeding up the recording now. If you don't know what I just did, it's a little quick tip. Um, the the nuke will give you 400 points regardless if the, if you've killed a bunch of zombies or if you haven't killed any zombies with it. So, what I usually do is I wait till the end of the round to get the nuke, so that way I could get 400 points um, after the round ends and not kill all of the zombies. get more points that way basically okay. now that we have the jack-in-the-box what you need to do is we need to aim it right at that white thing on the beam right there and see if we can land it like that 
Now, the only way to get that white thing to disappear, it's a card, is to throw the jack in the box. So, I cannot look currently, but um, if we look right now, the white thing, the white, the card is gone. You see? It's not there anymore. Oh, by the way, um, I forgot to mention, after the card disappears, what you need to do is you need to, um, get, uh, 10,000 points. Ooh. So after you get the 10,000 points, you come over to this piano and you hold down the interact button. It's the same button that you would uh, hold down if you want to buy a, a gun or hit the mystery box. And it takes 10,000 points away from you. And now, I don't have enough points to, but um, if I, oh, if I hit the mystery box, it'll give me a pack punch weapon. I just want to show you some proof. Whoa. So, right here you see it's pack-a-punched. Okay, everybody. So, um, that was my Easter egg guide. Well, it ended up being an Easter egg guide because we didn't really, um, survive too long after the, um, Easter egg. But, um, I also had to cut it out because I said something really cringe after, after we did the Easter egg and I'm just gonna cut that out. But, um, uh, I'll see you in the next video and have a great day.